Yeah, because I recorded mine last time, and I didn't know if you were posting it, if you minded if I recorded it as well. Ah, it's fine, dude. Okay, yeah. But, yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, can you, uh, actually, I think you've already added me, right? Yeah, I think I still have you, so, like, I'm doing, I'm... Yeah, I've <clears> seen <throat> you pop up on my Wii U okay. I've joined. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so... Do I just send it to the same PayPal that I did last time? No, hold on. No, okay. There you go. Okay. Let's me. <clears throat> oh, it's asking me to confirm a text message. Okay. All right. No contest. I literally just read it, closed the app, and forgot what it was. Hey, there we go. Send. Okay. And 25? Yeah. <clears throat> Send now. Alright, it said it sent. Okay, cool. Survival. Can you hear my game audio? I've got him. Um, my gamepad below my desk trying to muffle it from the mic. I can not, and that's so far, no. Okay, cool. That's what I usually do when streaming and I have people over just so we can hear it and I just put it under the mic and set the mic to forward directional. <clears throat> oh. So, um, give me a sec. Let me know when you're ready, by the way. Oh, I'm ready now. I'd already had the game up. Oh, okay. Cool. You can uh, join my room. Alright. On my way. There we go, Iron Bushy. Alright man, um... Just give me a sec to set everything up and get sure everything works. Alright, cool. Alright, so last time you played Ness, today it's primarily Corrin, yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe just a little bit of Ness. Okay. Or, but I don't um, want to touch Wi Fi. How, how long have you played Corrin now? Uh, probably about eight to nine months now. Okay. Alright, um, so um, I have no idea what level moment so let's do best of three with my Ike any stage you want um, as you know I'll be quiet just studying you if you uh, have any questions feel free to ask got it uh, I don't really care on what stage all right whatever you're comfortable with basically yeah I feel like my personal best stage with corn is battlefield all right Oh, but you took final, okay. 
Oh, I thought I went down. Oh well. Rogue too low trying to snap ledge and avoid the uh, eruption. That's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. So where do you usually practice nowadays? Or how? Against who? Uh... A lot of it's been... On stream. I've been going to a lot more locals recently. Okay. But with all of my friends to college, they've been back a little bit for the summer, but they haven't necessarily been playing Smash 4. I'm like, out of seven of us, I play Smash 4, and then one of one of the others do. Everyone else is right. melee. Okay. Well, I was just gonna say let's um let's do uh, one more best of three because you can give it yourself twice. Okay. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's Wi-Fi. I did not expect that to hit me. <laughs> I guess my dragon hand took through. Yeah. I don't know if that's a hitbox, but that would be kind of crazy if it was. I think until the trump comes out, it can be hit. I'm not <clears throat> entirely sure about that, though. Mm. Anyway, so your stage. Uh, I just really like Battlefield. That or Smashville. But Smashville's a little laggier sometimes. Laggier? <laughs> what? It's like, just, it lags more and when you play it? <laughs> when I play online, it lags more for me. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, I know, that was crazy. Ah. 
Alright, GG's. Um... Once I get in the corner, I suck at getting out of it. Yeah, no, I mean, that's sort of characters for you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Tell me, how do you feel like you could improve? Do you know? Like, is there anything you can that they, you can see where you kind of can get better? I mean, right now I feel like landing mm -hmm. and specifically, like, if I'm not in control of a match, I yeah. can't get it back on track. Like, I get steamrolled, but if I can pressure hard enough, then I can usually, like, I win by over overwhelming my opponent. But if they do that to me, I'm done. Yeah. And I, to be completely honest, I don't know how to fix that. That's honestly why, because I'm mm -hmm. just stagnating and I don't know what to do. Okay. Um. You're right on the landing. You really have, uh, it's it's linear movement and linear linear stra strategy where like I'm always you're always me like you're always in front of me. Um. They always get up in my face somehow, like, and you kind of get yourself punished most. I, I like kind of, I, I, most of the time I just actually stood still and like swung, and you just got hit. So like, you gotta not only be able to land, but you gotta know how to take a moment and just not press a button just to look at what I do first before you commit to something. Because if you're always in a constant commitment phase. I'm just gonna punish and punish and punish and punish and punish and punish because you're not looking on the fact that I'm just looking at you. Um, also, be a little bit more B reverses uh, when you land. For example, like aggressive uh, towards me, uh, just to kind of force shields instead of um, instead of always landing like in one spot. So let's just th those are the notes I have now. That's kind of what you want. To about so like you start off a little slower just take your time because um a lot of time i feel like you out pressed yourself almost so um as we play i'm just gonna throw some i guess comments point out some things just so that you're aware of kind of what i'm seeing at least okay okay cool um can you put the stocks on 99 Actually, ah, okay, we'll do it next time because you're already. I was already... gonna say I had already clicked it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, which stage do you want? Uh, I'm on battlefield again. It doesn't. Okay. At this point, it doesn't matter. Like it okay. could be any of them. Okay. Yeah, no, I, f I feel like you felt rushed, and I, I really just stood there and like punished your, your stress, stress yeah. of the character. <laughs> so. Just come at me. Oh, there's some beautiful little lag here. <laughs> My favorite. There you go, <laughs> that's the first one. <laughs> nice. Oh, why don't Okay, I was gonna say why back off, but you could have pivot forward smashed instead of just waited and looked there because. I tried to! <laughs> that's what I was trying uh, to do. Space to move. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. And approach me safely without being able to without grabbing approach me safely. Okay. But is the well, hold on, hold on, is that safe? Back kick is. 
Would you say it's a good approach? It's a poke, not an approach. Right, but what does it do to you? Well, it puts me in the corner. Exactly, and you said you have a hard time getting <laughs> oh, cornered. Oh, oh. So pr it'd probably be better to just jump up to the top platform. For example, not only that, but you can approach with something that wouldn't get you cornered if you fail. Like with back air? That's not an approach, that's a poke. Okay. Because it's unpunishable, but if you hit me, you won't be able to follow up, right? Unless you can't hit me here and can get me off stage, then sure. So, oh, but right. it's not really, it's not an approach. Like you could approach so with it, it's not really an fair. approach. Exactly. So approach me with Nair safely. No, 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 no. Oh, Nair. Would you approach like that? Back off a little bit. Back off. Approach me again. No, no, no. That's an. That, you're kind of. You're buffering it, right? Yeah. So you're creating space. Look at this. Like, do you think I would approach you like this? It wouldn't work because I would be too late coming down from the ground to be able to follow it up. Plus, I would just run into you like this. And I can basically just punish you out of shield. So what you want to do is put up your shield. Oh. No, no, no. Just put up your shield. Here. Bam. Here. This. There you go. There oh, you go. because I'm just using it in the middle of the air. Like, wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just, you buffer it, and it, I mean, if, how would you else approach if not neutral air? Some of the other ones. That's like fair or up air. So okay, approach with a fair. Okay, but then you but you're then you like want that. yeah, like later. If you do okay, so try that one again, for example. So how do you follow up? And then like jump back out and try to see reaction. Could, but you can also tilt or down tilt. Right. There you go. Now the faster option is jab, right? So that's basically the punish attack. So if you shield, put up your shield. No, I, no, no. Actually, I have come over here. I have left shoulder button set to jump, so I'm clicking that. Okay, okay. Like, right. oh, wait. So after no, no, you can release it. It's fine, dude. So I'm gonna hit your shield, and I want you to try and punishing it as a, when I tell you to put up the shield. Okay. Okay. All right. So hold on. Put up the shield. See? No, you can't. You can't punish me. Right. Same thing. You can do that to me. So. But don't get too close, otherwise I'll grab you. So. Right. Can you um? Do you know how to jump forwards and and backwards for a back jump? So you've got two different types of jumps, right? That one. What? Exactly. You see? Oh, you yeah. have a backwards jump and a forwards jump that kind of spins them around. Try jumping like that, and then approach me. So you do just the backwards jump. It's just this. This is the this is the approach, right? Sure. Uh oh. And then you just press neutral air. Yeah, but you delay the neutral air a little bit, so you land with it. There you go. There you go. That one's a little better. It's weird to space that. It's what? It feels a little weird to space that. Yeah, it's it's called spacing, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it feels weird. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I don't use Nair as much as I should. I use a lot but of it, pin. It, that, yeah, no, and you said you had a problem with getting cornered. Right. So, yeah. Um, it works the same with forward air. So you jump back, but you just see stick towards me. I have to be facing the right direction. Right. That's that's it. Yeah. There you go. Now you kind of want to in training mode, bro. In training mode, check this out. What you're doing right now is exactly what you should be doing. But let's pretend you're a CPU, right? I would try to basically not hit you, and if I hit you, I fail. I'll so just make sure that I don't touch. You. So you just exactly so you clip like this now actually stand still check this out this doesn't hit you right right but put up your shield here still it hits does. The shield is and, a little bit and then from that you've got this so you can go one two or you can go one oops one two or you can go for this to this or you can go for this to this or
for this to a forward smash because you're corn. Or you can back off and shoot a neutral B. Or you can just jump in with a charged neutral B and kind of change up the timing every time you do it. Um, you can jump at me with that spaced aerial, not actually throw out an aerial and just grab instead. There you go. It requires movement first. Now, can you do this? From here, just double jump back. Double jump back? Yeah. Like drop down and double jump back. Yeah, 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 just like okay. a normal one. And now give me a neutral air with that. Nice. Now it's, it's, it, give it a delayed neutral air. I feel like I might. That's what I was. Th Bones, I'd fall. Basically, like this. You can do it. This is a bad stage, like showcase it, but like you can. Give it a more. Actually, I'll, I'll we'll switch so I can basically take corn. Hold on. Yeah, this. I feel like. Because I try to do it and I jump and jab because mm -hmm. I'm trying to do the falling or fast fall it. Oh, yeah. Also, the back air is good for a poke, but you kind of buffered it every single time. Now, if you delay the back air as well, that means that you kind of change up the timing, plus you add an additional option for you, which is tomahawk grabbing. Right? This is what I mean by having a split second of just looking. See if it's even worth buffering. Um. Can you now take the stocks like 20 or 30 or whatever? And 99 actually is just as fast as right. Yeah. Um, okay, so what stage were you saying? And just take random. Okay. So, first of all, um, try from here, where I'm standing, I just want to see this, backwards. Oh. I'm doing it too fast. Because I keep pivoting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which buttons do you use for this? X and A right now, because okay. the shoulder button I have set for um. Do you use the C stick? Yeah, I s recently went C stick tilt. Okay, so do this. Just literally jump backwards like this, and then C stick towards the direction you want to hit. So you don't even do anything with the analog stick. It's just it just does its thing, and then you just C stick yeah. with the other. I can't short hop with um. The shoulder button is jump. I'm trying to get that. But... You don't need to do the shoulder button though. Yeah. Just do it with what you're comfortable with. So the same thumb that you jump with, you just bring it down for the C stick. Well, unless you're on Pro Controller. <laughs> what do you have? Pro Controller. Okay. So whatever really works in terms of jumping back like this and see sticking towards the opponent. See if you can get this mo uh, movement in. So like I said, from where you're standing, hold on, from where you're standing, just start with jumping back like this, that's it. Oh, make sure you don't turn around. That's what I was having problems with, I kept turning around. E exactly, so here, just as you, all you need to do is just jump towards the direction, not even do anything, that's it. That's all you do, is just jump towards the direction and release. Jump towards the direction, release. Exactly. So you're doing it very clean. Exactly. Doing it super clean now, and it's just a C stick after that. But take take your time with the C stick. So start with just this. Yeah, I was holding the stick nice. for too long. See how see how kind of easy that was. So just yeah. now, when you're comfortable, just add a C stick. Don't be afraid to add up up as well. Oh. 
you can still go back a little more. So you kind of, instead of, because you can go back all the way. Right, exactly. And you can delay the, exactly, see these are really clean and now you do them all of a sudden. Now, the harder one would be doing neutral air. So, but that's all you gotta do is just press A, honestly, as you kind of jump in. Exactly, like you did before, you just jump, get calm, get you comfortable, and then just press A whenever you feel like you kind of are about to land. There you go. And now, see, that's a perfect approach, because put your shield up. Here. What are you gonna do against this? Right? No, one, two. <laughs> exactly. One, two. Or one, two. Or one, two. Really up to you. Or you can even space it more backwards and go for something like this. If, if, if you want, it's a mix up, right? Yeah. Or you can go for one, two. And then keep walling them out from that area. And then mix things up like that, right? Because this one would be good for like catching jumps out of shield. Because you keep, as you're cornered, Put up, no, 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 come over here, here, corner yourself. As you're cornered, right, how do you, you can't punish it, right? You can't right. challenge it, otherwise you'll get hit. So, and then you can mix it up, so put up your shield. You got one, two, three, I can keep pushing, pushing you like that in different kind of ways. Now, what is your instinct here? What do you need? It's either, my head tells me, Go to ledge and get invincibility and reassess. No. <laughs> no. But no. at the same time, <laughs> that's not a good idea. Then you're setting yourself up for a ledge trap for no reason. Exactly. That. Why would you increase your corner? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's why. So what do you need? Well, the straightforward answer is I need to get back to stage. Exactly. You need to get back to the middle. How do you do that? Or how, how does the opponent do that, if I'm here just spacing you out? You could attack back, or use a defensive option like roll, or... Okay, well, hold on, hold on. so just start with that option. Attack back after I hit you. Okay. Just hold, hold your shield. Okay. Actually, that was badly spaced for me. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Here. Yeah. No. Okay, that shield poked. Either way, it's not- whoa. Can you do that again? But just stand there? Just do that again. Whoa! I don't know, I have Corrin mod. Your thing is green. Is that, oh. is that for real? Does that show for you too? It shows on yours? Yeah, I mean, the thing is like, there's like a green oh. glow. I don't know how that even- oh, holy shit, okay. It's a Anyways. text ID issue. I see, okay. So, put up your shield. Try that again, so. One, two. So yeah. If you put up, put up your shield, you'll, you'll get hit, right? And plus, you have this one to counteract after the down tilt. Now, so what does that leave you with? If you try to, if attack doesn't work because I keep punishing you, how do you deal with that? You either jump or roll behind me, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, put up your shield. You jump. If you can kind of go for one, two, and then know they're going to jump, you can punish it. That's what this is actually for. Or you can go for something like a combo, right? That's fine too. But it's really your choice. The, this one is more for killing, I guess, because it launches them off stage. Right. And plus, it's safe, because once you do it, you kind of land back to the middle anyway. So it's just one, and you're still here, taking control of the middle. Plus, also, there's this, right? You go for one, and w while they're cornered, one, two, uh, sorry, just one, one, two. To kind of punish them for trying, you know, so to punish roll, you. So, obviously, so one, if they roll behind two. you, just hit them with the For example, well. yeah. Yeah, it's like you can go one, two, and kind of punish them either being there, or you go one, two, oops, my bad. One, two, and you punish them for rolling behind you. You get a little kill there, or whatever it is that, you know, you want to pin for. You can start combo, I guess, or just launch them, deal damage. Either way, it's a really good option here, but... As soon as you use it in a neutral here and then go back, you corner yourself. How the hell are you gonna get? You need the middle stage. So if you're gonna do it, you need to have some kind of plan B at least. Not just do it and then be like, oh shit, I'm cornered. Right. Um, let's see. So yeah, um, put up your shield one more time. It, this is also kind of like a lighter approach, right? Because 
here. Look. You're not it's actually, kind of hard to. You're not like physically approaching. You're just scooching. No, that is what an approach is. You approach well, safely. Hit the shield. You get. You gain the oh. advantage. You force an option. Right. Or you kind of condition an option, I guess. So put up the, here. See, and you can play around that if you feel like that. That after every single time you do that combo, does that mean to, uh, at the end, right? Put up your shield. It means that you can just simply go for something like this and kill them, or go for an offstage little throw and kind of just keep them from the middle because they still need it. You got this option, for example, the the back air. Because it also can be countered with this, and bam, you hit them, you're still in the middle stage. So it's fine at that point. Um, so try this again. See if you can do that. Okay, so now against me, I'm going to put up my shield, right? And I want you to do this. You run up to me. Exactly, look at me. <laughs> you run up to me. Here. And jump backwards. And then there. jump backwards, right? So, But in a short hop. So it's just this. And then... Bam, you hit me. You hit my shield. And then down tilt immediately after. Exactly. But do it now so you don't space yourself back too much so you're not like completely, I guess, too far away. So you want to be in a good range as well. So try that. Go back a little bit. Just run at me from a distance. For example, like right here. Try to approach me. Take your time. Take your time. Uh uh. Take your time. Remember just this. Uh fine. How often uh, do you s how much time do you spend on training mode by the way? I usually don't. I usually just practice with other people. I see. Almost, 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 but take your time. It was it was I too much like this. Yeah, I didn't yeah. land with it. Almost, nice. Keep going. See, that, that means that you're a little too far, so now you kind of have to have it a little... Right. Almost, that was a lot better. Now try this from a full hop. Same thing, just one, two... So it's actually, when you run, it's jump first and then just turn. Yeah, I'm clicking it way too fast. Almost. Now combine that with fast falling and you have a really good approach. Here. So you kind of nail this so after for, against the computer dude you kind of you have to go into training mode and spend a lot of time there this is what you do you just put them on you know they don't do anything so you approach but you start by you know you reset the thing and then you rush at them and then you just do this every time you just approach them like this and out of the hit at any kind of percentage you practice what is the best follow-up you practice from 0 20 or 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 to 100, right? So every 10%, you practice a little combo so you know how to follow it up. After you've learned how to hit it and space it perfectly, because it's really necessary for you. Right. And as you, because I can see you now having like difficulty with it, and that means that that is the that is the one basic step you've like jumped over. Now I'm almost, almost. You were saying? Oh. Now it's weird to be going back to something like this because I definitely made things too complicated. Well, I mean, you can see how like <laughs> you're stumbling like against me as an approach. So like, yeah, of course, this is uh, everything else is fine. Like, you kind of, I guess. You, um, yeah, no, I guess you have complicated things for yourself and kind of just jumped over this one, like, 
you need precision in your character's movement. You need to like be able to do this, what I'm doing, consistently. Like it should be easy. Not only that, but like you should be able to like use every single move, right? Just up airs like this, for example, and be able to like just go bam, 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 do a whole bunch of stuff and just move around. And just like either buffer and fast fall with like landing aerials. Um, and then out of that in training mode, you know how to start combos and you just move. The opponent, like with the with the target, you learn your own move, not just playing against opponents. Now you need to kind of like give you give yourself some time. Um, definitely, uh, yeah. Master the move. Do you know how to roar? You know how to roar back, or you do it all the time, but like probably mostly out of mistake or like mostly out of a habit. It's a habit, really definitely. Yeah. Down, now try this, so you jump towards me for a back air, but instead of the back air, you just turn around and grab me. Okay. Nice. So you know that one. That one is fine. I'm, I'm not used to jumping and not turning my back to it, which is why I kept pivoting, because it's like, I'm forcing myself not to. What do you mean? I'm so used to like, if I rush at someone, I... I usually yeah, yeah, back you here. buffer it. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it. that's why this was really difficult for me at first because I yeah, yeah. couldn't. Now you're getting hang of it though. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to time it, but I think okay, I now, figured it out now. Try doing it um, with a fast ball. So it's just zoom, zoom, zoom. Nice. So you want to exactly you want to fast fall at the peak. You don't have to be too stressful about it, honestly. That's it. That's fine. And with that, as you press down, you just see stick towards a direction. Try upwards, actually. Nice. You almost got it. So this is the thing you want to practice that you can actually approach like this, for example, against an opponent. So it would look like this as an approach, like, put up your shield. Here. Oops. Here. So it's a close range approach, or you can just kind of get behind them, like, oh god, it's lagging all of a sudden. Or you just kind of... God damn it. <laughs> Here. That. That's a cross-up, for example. Like, that works. Um, or you kind of space it while you back off so that the tip hits but you'll, you'll you're still out of, out of out of reach so um it would look like that you see how far back i still kind of go like it yeah. works as an approach and then you've got follow-ups after that and if you keep kind of doing that then in training mode like you you also once you get used to it put it up in 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 100 and practice all the follow-ups so that when it hits you're just like okay i know exactly where to position myself at least i do know the follow-ups i'm just used to getting them off of more of like i don't know just them making a bad decision and less of me conditioning i'm not the best at conditioning mm -hmm. so you like, don't have to condition you just have to like oh, space yeah. and approach or like space and wall and out of that you might, you don't need to, because you said you punish, right? I think it's like I force an opening too hard when it could be much easier. To force an option in general. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So what is, the, essentially, if you put up your shield, actually, and I just hit this every time against your shield, and I see you jumping every single time after I hit it, I just have to swing. This this is my punish, right? So you want to, you want to, like, add this to your punish game as well. Um, so it, it'll do everything for you as well. It's not just an approach. It will help you punish as well. Um, it's just that you never really went for a spaced aerial ever. And so I just had to stand there and just punish your mistakes for, I don't know, going in with this, which really doesn't do much. It's an right. anti-air. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of like clouds uh, neutral air. It just denies people the air like this. Or you can use that out of shield options. Get people off of you like that. If they're jumping everywhere where you are. You can just go... Uh, for example, there, if you double jump back, I can just kind of keep you from the stage like that. Also, do you know how to be reverse? Yes. Oops, sorry. 
I've been trying to use a little bit of C bounce. Okay, that's nice. But I haven't really gotten the timing down every time. Okay, that's probably because you don't, like you said, you don't spend time in training mode, right? Yeah. Or, or do you like a little bit at least? I do some, but okay. if I have time to practice, then it's usually with other people. I see. Okay. But you know all of the four different setups for this one as well, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, also, be careful to whiff the, uh, this goddamn thing, and then you just jump and jump, and you kind of you, <laughs> you limit yourself at that point. So if you're gonna do it, have a plan B. Where are you lined with this? Right, so it would be one, two. It works. Like it could work, but it's an it's an additional landing option. And also, that's why you have trouble landing is because you never landed with a space aerial once again. Um, also, you can definitely land a little bit more with this one because you kind of have to. You have to establish that they have to respect you. So otherwise, the other one is just going to be above you for like you know, not doing it and shielding, and they shouldn't be able to do that for free. And then, once you establish a shield, you space around the shield. And then, so you play, play on those options, because if they want to play around your your uh, spaced aerial, you might just all of a sudden get them with this. So, like, it's a little mind game. Right. But also, you can bait and punish that way. Um... Oh, yeah. Uh... You never went with this. Don't be afraid to try at least. Yeah, I've n I've never had success when I do that. Okay. I don't know if I'm just bad at predicting the timing or what, but I've never really successfully like had a ton of success using that. Okay, I mean that's fine. Um I'm trying to think what else you should miss all? I honestly, I want to play you with my uh, nest to see if it's any better. Okay, sure. Because as of right now, it's just you gotta you gotta start with the movement and spacing and precision. Yeah, and which I don't have down on Corin as well as I. Well, I don't know if I still have it with Ness, but okay. definitely well, we can, had. We can check. We can check. Do you want me to choose Ness as well, or should I pick someone else? It doesn't matter. Okay. What's your color? Uh, an alt slot. Ah, okay. The part of me has really wanted to go back to playing Ness after finding, like, the issues I've been talking about when I play Corrin, but then the mm -hmm. other part of me is, like, solo maining Ness is hell. Um, sure. <laughs> I don't think there's any other... Just Rosa and sword characters. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, let me reset two stocks and just take Ike. Okay. Or Actually, do you, would you rather go against something else, like a Mario? No, uh, I play against the friends Ike with my Ness specifically, just because... It's probably not an Ike thing, or actually, I know it's not an Ike thing, but I what? I feel like I have a better idea of how to move around it. Okay. I was gonna say, <laughs> I know for a fact it's not a Ness v Ike thing, it's a me versus him thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you, I took Corrin to show you the double jump thingy, I'll show that after. Okay back to stage out of the ledge just to kind of show you but uh just uh give me your ness
so mad. <laughs> like. Oh. Yeah, I definitely am not as good at anything. Oh no, why would you just let me get back? <laughs> yeah, I have no excuse. Uh oh. My bad. Ah, you can grab after the up there. Yeah, that is true. Okay, space yourself away after them. Or at least not in my range. Okay, nipple hitbox. <laughs> But yeah, it's honestly just it's just movement at this point because I feel like yeah. you um you you've played so many people and never been on training to a point where you're just pushing yourself from the front all the time. You're always in front of me. That's kind of what it, you're never like you're never trying to like uh, space an aerial uh, to kind of poke at me and bait me safely. You never actually cross me up with an aerial. You never roll behind me to kind of find a little approach. You never immediately punish me for jumping right at where I kind of jump. Um, you don't shield Ash very much, which you also need to, um, and let's go back with Corrin, because like I said, like at this point, yeah. I can't even teach you a character, you kind of just need to go back to movement, and like everything will just make more sense to you later, as you kind of get into the movement and spacing and stuff. Um... Yeah, it doesn't matter which stage. But no, honestly, if you just put hours into it, get Wi-Fi, give it, give it like three weeks even of just chilling out, just play your own game, learn movement, learn how to practice technicality. Um, so you kind of are comfortable with it to a point where your fingers are just doing it for you, you're not even thinking or even trying, so that you can actually pay attention to what's happening in the match. Otherwise, you're just going to struggle. Players who just do that all the time against you. Now, uh, what I wanted to show you is this, right? So you just jump, and you neutral air at the end. So you don't burn double jump off ledge. No, you do. You do. Look at me here. Actually, try this to begin with. It's just this. So you regrab by double jumping. You start by learning this one, right? And then you just jump back with that same timing. It has to be very tight. So as you press down, you have to press jump you know, almost immediately, like it has to be a split second between those two. Oh, and this, also, this, is, this is also something that will add your cornering game, because you never did it, which means I never had to concern myself with that cornering option. It was literally just you getting cornered and then never double jumping back. So like, it, it, of course you're gonna have a hard time being cornered. As you also went, went with this and got cornered, so it became just a very limit. You you kind of you just you checkmated yourself as soon as it started every time. Off. Now try adding try adding an air dodge to that back. So as you jump, try adding an air dodge. Exactly. Oh yeah, now, I know that one. I. I played best for a long time. Okay, so now do do a do a neutral air. Be able to so that you can do a neutral air after after the air dodge. Oh, well, after so air thing? Dodge? Exactly, exactly, exactly. So once you you can actually do it. Once it looks like this, right? So ch just check this one out. There. You see, I still line without lining lag, so it becomes a shield after as well. So you'll be able to do this air dodge shield.
Or you can press the C stick. That also works, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, the timing effort is weird because I don't know. Yeah, no, it's hard. It, obviously, like, here's the thing you don't know. And yeah. You don't I feel so it. dumb for not knowing, like, stuff like this when I know how to do this. A lot it's of fine. other stuff, but at the same time, it's, it's like, I needed this. Yeah, no, you, of course, did, like, training mode right now. <laughs> I feel like it's been 50 minutes, but you should already go back and practice these kinds of movements. Get them down, make them perfect. Learn how to be reverse with these aerials, right? So you just kind of, as you move around and do this, all of a sudden, you just be reverse. See how that kind of implements play. Um, maybe here as well. This. I, when I use pin, I love to be reverse out of pin. Like. Okay. Alright. That's one thing I do a lot. Um. Let's see, what else? Hmm. Do you know how to, uh. There, that's it. Pivot F smash? Yeah. No, 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 not perfect pivot. Be exactly that one. Oh, what is it? Shutter step? Not perfect pivot F smash? Goddamn lie. <laughs> Goddamn lie. Oh, there it is. So, also, you, you learn like differences between this one and then the forward smash, right? And I guess in Wi Fi it's a little hard, but like in training mode it will be way more easy to practice because yeah. now it's there's delay right so it does mess a little bit with the precision but um you need to know the differences between those in terms of technicality so that whenever i approached you with ike and like i said i was being in front of you like this so you can basically just kind of instead of dealing with me jumping with you like this I could just do yeah that. exactly instead of me approaching you like this and you always challenging from the Bam, that spot, you, like you just punish that spot, right? Um, and I was kind of hoping to see that once, but um, I, I, don't, I didn't think you like, would ever do it because you would always just come at me like this and like try to grab. Um, or you would go for this and then that was over and you shielded because you were just like, oh shit, I actually hit them, but it wasn't the start to anything. Um, Don't be afraid to go for this one too. The uh, oops, my bad. Just this. Oh I yeah. So you know how to basically pressure here, kind of like I said, you keep them from the middle, and then whenever you kind of condition them into going for a regular get up. What's up, Rebecca? Hang on one second. Sure. Okay, I have my door closed, and apparently... That's fine. <laughs> it's like, oh, door closes. We must open it. Okay, anyway. Can you do this? It's forward air, up air. Forward air, up air. And it's fast follow up. Yes. Nice. Now, in training mode as well, you go up against an opponent and you just kind of don't hit them, but you space around them. And you try to get as close as possible, you see how much you can kind of do it and keep it up as you run towards me and stuff as well. So you know how to just exactly... It, it, so from a distance, let's say you're in training mode, you're like you reset, they respawn over there, you just kind of go up like this, but you don't hit them, so... Yeah, and then, <laughs> that's fine. And then you just um, you land with a bear, and that one also shouldn't hit. Just so that you can space around them instead of always committing for going into them. Which is what that's like the only way I find approach options is I commit yeah. to everything. Which yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I didn't know how to word it. <laughs> it's fine. No, but you said it. You had trouble landing, and you had trouble getting cornered. That was the number one thing, I think. But, um, 
Yeah. Because you, did, you got yourself cornered like this, and then it was just like, okay, oops, it didn't work, and then all oh, shit, I'm here. And then you also wanted, like I said, to instinctively grab the ledge, but you didn't know <laughs> how like, to do this, so we became yeah. a trouble back, and then you just kind of, you out buttoned yourself because you were trying to be fast, but you were fast with no real, like right. this, movement, right? I'm just happy I managed to recognize the problem. That's better than it used to be. Because I remember mm. the first session, I was like, yeah, I have no idea what the problem is. <laughs> at least this time I figured out, yes, this is the problem. But yeah, so no, dude, just practice this. At this point, it's just this comfortable. You have to spend hours in this. Eventually, you'll be able to just outmaneuver your opponent. Kind of like I, when I said I had played Ike and I said come at me, right? The first match or the third match, whatever. And yeah. you kind of you tried, but I, I was just moving, I'm doing it. I'm just maneuvering around you, kind of just spacing you out. I threw out one neutral if you got too close or just uh, didn't pay attention. And I just stood here and you kind of you looked at me like what the hell should I do? And you did this and then you backed off and you got cornered and it was just like oh, okay, well free damage for me. So like. At this point, there's not much I can do for you, it's just this. Um, practice this, take your time with it, really right. enjoy it, actually. Because it's, um, partially why this game also is fun. It's because there is a goddamn training mode where you can do a whole bunch of technical, like, awesome stuff. Okay. Um, but so yeah, anything you want to ask before? Hmm? Well, a personal thing, I'm guessing... I just don't know... You I should probably stick to playing Corrin. I feel like I was sure. wondering if you think Cor my Corrin or my Ness was better. I feel like my Corrin mm -hmm. is. Yeah, I would say Corrin because you 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 uh you need to work. Yeah. The the approach and the baits and punishes with the sword from a distance and that kind of like fair down tilt jab. What it really does to a shield, how he applies pressure, how you punish jumps, everything I told you. Stay with Corrin. Um, right. You, if you want, I would also recommend Ike, but start a little bit with Corrin first, get comfortable with her. Um, and then if you want to play different people and you're still not comfortable, sure, go a little bit of Ike, learn the game. Uh, I can give you two videos if you ever decide to pick up Ike, just to kind of understand how this game works, not necessarily the character, so you get a better understanding of it. Uh, so you can pick up any character after, who knows, maybe you're a pit, pit main for all I know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, for now, stay for corn, with, with corn until, you'll, and, until you kind of feel like there's not much, I don't really know. Also, check out the video, Auto Smash 2, uh, the advanced part, technical stuff, to see if you can kind of get those things down. I don't think there's anyone, th there might be some stuff in 3 that you can also check out, but mostly 2. Actually, and 3, just do those 2, kind of get used to them, the, and the techniques, and get comfortable doing it. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, man. So, um, like I said, feel free to hit me up. But until then, I'll talk to you another day. All right, cool, man. All right, all right. See ya.